Are you sick of stick drift ruining your best Mario Kart run, or getting you splatted in Splatoon? Look no further, you can find these Joy-Con Hall Effect sensors on Amazon for under $40 Canadian. Let's get into the installation. So let's start by opening it up. Supposedly these Joy-Cons will use half the power of the originals. Inside you'll get a pair of tweezers, two screwdrivers, and a spudge tool. The kit also comes with a pair of thumb grips, screws, and of course the joysticks themselves. We'll start on the right Joy-Con and we have four screws on the back to remove. Having a small tray to put your screws in will help keep them from getting lost. Now that we have our four screws removed, we'll use our sponge tool to break it open. If you have a wrap on your Joy-Cons, you may have to remove a screw here. Next, we'll use a pair of tweezers to unplug our battery. Next, we must remove the three screws holding the battery tray on. Now remove the bottom trigger and the two springs underneath of it. There's one screw holding our button in place. With that out of the way, we can now remove the antenna and the entire battery holster. We have two screws holding the joystick into the Joy-Con. Now that we've removed the screws, we can pop the clasp on the ribbon cable and remove it all together. Here we have our original Nintendo joystick. And now we will install our new Hall Effect sensor joysticks. Using the sponge tool or a pair of tweezers, insert the ribbon cable, pop the clasp, and then insert our two screws. Now we will reinstall our battery. Pop our button back into place and then screw in the screw. We have three screws to secure the battery holder. Now 
and then we will click the battery connector straight down against the motherboard. Place our two springs from earlier into their designated slots and then just simply click in the trigger. If you removed the little Joy-Con removal button earlier, you can now place it back in, keeping care to put the pin in the right location. We can now screw our Joy-Con back together and check to see if it still works. Now we'll repeat with the left Joy-Con, removing the four screws and opening it with the spudge tool. We'll remove our battery connector just like last time, only this time we'll be removing our entire battery to get to the two gold screws underneath. With our battery holder out of the way, we can now access the two screws holding our joystick into the Joy-Con. We'll pop the clasp like last time and then remove the ribbon cable. Now we'll switch out our joysticks. Reinsert the ribbon cable. Install two screws. Reinstall the battery holder. and then the battery itself. Once again, make sure the notch is facing the right direction and then install the four screws on the back side. Finally, start up your switch, go to system settings, calibrate control sticks, and run a calibration to set up your new Hall Effect sensor sticks. Just like that, your Nintendo Switch upgrade is complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe.